Hello and welcome to Automation Talk where you have the opportunity to see and hear live what's happening here at Automation Direct. If this is your first time joining us, we thank you for logging in and I hope you'll enjoy today's Automation Talk show. As you know, my name is Shane Kreider and I will be your host. All right, like I said, we're going to jump right in today because we've got a lot to pack in in the uh, short time allowed. And as you know, this is a recorded one. We're not doing this one live just because we've got a lot of work on it and um, just want to try to get it out as quick as possible try versus trying to put it in the lineup with all of our live seminars. So what we've got is our advanced features uh, in remote access and control with our Seymour touch panels and helping give this presentation. We're actually going to give all the presentation. I'm just here to do the intro and outro is uh, Mr. Tim Roberts, and he's from our business development team. Tim has come over and helped us before uh, with some of the other seminars. And we uh, want to welcome him back, and I'm going to hand it over to Tim and uh, let him take off, and I'll try to control the slides and keep up. So, Tim, what do you got for us? All right. Thanks, Shane. As Shane said, today we're going to be covering the uh, advanced features of the Seymour Touch Panel, and uh, with particular attention given to the remote access and control feature. So Shane's going to control the slides as we go through them. We're going to talk about the advanced features being, really we have these divided out. One is the built-in web server. Mm -hmm. which a lot of touch panels uh, now have. In addition, you can send email using the Seymour. Uh, it also has FTP server. We'll talk some in, in brevity on some of these things, just in a brief nature. But there's also s simultaneous communication to other PLC platforms. A lot of folks don't realize that the Seymour can do that. So we'll touch on that. Also, the panel pass-through feature. And I'll just mention here at this point the audio output. Some of our uh, customers are using the Seymour. They'll have uh, hooked up just an amplifier with speakers and right. have the touch panel talk to you, play WAV files, you know, and uh, communicate. Yeah, exactly, and uh, communicate with the operator. So let's dive right in. As, as Shane said, we've got a good bit to cover. First of all is just the, uh, the web server functionality uh, in, in the Seymour panel. The, the benefit of this, a lot of times you hear web server and it means different things to different different folks, but depending on how you're using it, here's here's a quote from an actual OEM customer, uh, which I think puts it pretty succ succinctly. He says that compared to relying on hearing a verbal description, this same feature of the web server allows them to also give their customers much better insight into what's happening in their plant when they call in asking questions. Right. So, for instance, with this OEM, he's got his uh, touch panel out on his uh, system shipping these things all over the world, and their end customers using them, he can connect remotely and then pull up uh, and view the screens that are actually being displayed on the touch panel, just view them live, and he can walk them through and do troubleshooting and so forth. Okay, let's go to the next one. Also, this is pretty simple. It can send email. Now, with that, I, I do want to mention just the caveat of anytime you're you're doing email or uh FTP or any other type inter internet related operation, you you do have to set up the panel in terms of the um, the Ethernet protocol. You got to right. do you know you have to go through and set up. If there's a firewall, you work with your IT folks. If you're not familiar with that, uh, to get into your plant network, and expose that to the outside. Right. But all of that being done, the uh, the touch panel can email. And and another cool feature about this is that you can. E you can embed data. So you can have you know, an email, have the touch panel send an email, for instance, indicating that the tank temperature, like we show here, you know, the tank temperature of this particular tank uh, is not only high, but you can actually embed the value in there. Right. So then the, the uh, tech support guy or the s facility support person at that factory can then see that you know, for instance, on, on their BlackBerry or iPhone or whatever, it pops up and tells them ex the exact condition that, that triggered that email. So very powerful feature in terms of being able to send email. Okay, let's see next. The FTP server. Now, what this will do for you is you, you can access uh, first log data and then retrieve that log data remotely anywhere using Internet connection. Mm -hmm. Again, provided that you go through the the uh, normal steps of uh, exposing that touch panel to the outside world in terms of its internet connection. So it does have FTP, and we'll, we'll show how you get at that in just a moment. Okay, another thing, as I mentioned, is the, uh, the ability that the Seymour has to talk 
to multiple PLC platforms at the same time. So here we're showing connection uh, via DH485 to, it looks like a slick and then a MicroLogix, right. and then you have some of our PLCs down at the bottom. It's doing this all at the same time, which is, again, very, it's, it's like having a protocol bridge is the way it functionally operates. So you're not limited to one brand of PLCs. Not limited. You get a lot of blend in, in a lot yep. of plants depending on what machines came where. So Exactly. I was at a factory. I'll tell you a quick story. I was at a factory back around 2004 or 05, and uh, this place was like a just walking, talking museum of different <laughs> PLC <laughs> brands, and they had different assembly lines. You have, you know, one PLC. I won't name all the ones that are sure. there, but just the normal ones that you could think of off the top of your head, they had literally <laughs> lines of machines that had those those various touch panels. But the cool thing with the Seymour, you could take that to an existing si uh, factory or, or right. situation like that and access all of those PLCs and get data. You put them all on one screen, you can have it talking to different PLCs at the same time. So it's a very powerful feature, uh, being able to do multiple PLCs. Let's go to the next slide. A panel pass through. This is another powerful feature that um, that often goes unnoticed or just may may not apply to to a lot of applications. But if you look, the way I like to think about it is if you're well, it says it right here. The example is if you have a PLC that only has one serial port, but you need multiple touch panels on it. And mm -hmm. in the past, you're just stuck, you know, with with uh, serial communication only to that touch panel. The cool thing about the Seymour is with the built-in Ethernet, the models that do have Ethernet, by the way. Right. We're not going to go into those details, but you go on the website, you can find very quickly the one, ones that are the higher feature panels that have built-in Ethernet. You don't have to buy an extra card. The ones that have that would then allow you to tie off of that Ethernet port another Seymour panel. So right. even though your PLC can't support having another touch panel, the Seymour itself can. So that's a very powerful uh, feature as well. So as you mentioned, not all of the uh, Seymour panels have Ethernet, but I'd say the, the, the greater majority of them, there's very few that don't have exactly uh, Ethernet capabilities. That is true. Yeah, you, yeah you, if you just you just uh, point at them there on the website, more, more than likely you're going to be looking at those that do have. But right. be sure that you do make sure that, that it is Ethernet capable or Ethernet equipped. Let's go to the next slide here. Now we're going to dive in a little bit to the uh, what we call the remote access, remote access and control functionality of the touch panel. It shows it here. You can see the touch panel being accessed over the Internet on your PC. Now, some of these features uh, weren't really launched when they launched the product itself. Some of these features were have been added, added, right. And isn't remote access one of the latest ones? I mean, it, it's been out for a little while. It's been out for a while, but, yeah, it was one that we added Based on customer feedback, there was a, sure. a couple of particular OEMs that uh, really had to have this feature. And they came to us and said, look, can you add this to the Seymour? And we worked with them and, uh, and did add the feature and then released it to, to the mass market. And what's nice, I know a lot of times people ask, you know, why didn't you release this feature when you first came out with the product? Mm -hmm. But sometimes we're not real sure exactly, you know, we have in our mind how we want it to be, you know, built or created. But that's not always what the customer wants. You know how it is. Right. A lot of times you go to buy something, you're like, that's nice, but I wish it was this way. Right. But you just get what they're selling. Um, so a lot of times we'll hang on to a couple of higher-end features, uh, you know, even though we've got them developed, and we'll try to cater them to the customer's needs. So as we get customer feedback, okay, we want it to do this, this, and this, then we'll sort of cater that new feature and then release it. Exactly. We'll build it in based on the need and feedback that we get. And, right. and by the way, that underscores the... Uh, just how important the feedback is. We really appreciate folks going on the website, calling up tech support, and just giving uh, their feedback and their request about additional product features and functionality. If we don't have what you need, we need to know that so right. that we can then add that functionality later. But yeah, let's go ahead and dive into the remote access. First, we'll talk a little bit about the benefits. This will allow authorized users, we have to be careful about this because we, we don't <laughs> want to, uh, to come across that you've You've, uh, once you use this feature, you've exposed your touch panel to anybody and everybody. We'll talk a little bit about security, but it will allow authorized users to connect to, connect the PC to the Seymour panel from anywhere in the world via the Internet, it just using a browser. Right. Uh, Internet Explorer tends to be the most popular, so we list that as an example. But then 
the remote user can then fully operate and monitor. So not just access, but actually control the touch panel remotely. And it can reduce the need for user to, to hop on a plane and to fly out to sure. you know, actually see the, the touch panel in operation. You, being able to do it remotely uh, can save time, money, and everything else. So, uh, so you can control the touch screen, the operation, as if you're touching the panel itself. And we're going to dem demonstrate that a little bit later. Just before the uh, camera started rolling, I was thumbing through to make sure I knew which touch panel we were going to control here. Yeah, we've got several in here. Because this could literally be anywhere uh, in the world. We're, we're literally going through you know, the Internet to, uh, to get there. So we'll, we'll demonstrate that this feature in just a minute. Um, you can also monitor real time. I know that some some folks they just want to be able to access it. Mm -hmm. They don't necessarily want to control it. They just want to access it. They want to see what the operator's seeing, a certain state of the machine at a given time to be able to do troubleshooting and to be able to walk a uh, customer through just various steps that they're doing the operation of the machine. So it's great for uh, for troubleshooting and testing. If you're a systems integrator or an OEM, uh, et cetera, being able to do that is a very, very powerful uh, feature. You can view, zoom, print, and save screens. So in addition to the, the remote access, you can, you can do those uh, types of activities as well. This eliminates having to uh, connect to the PLC and gather data with an expen expensive software package. Right. That's another, another feature that this that sort of comes as a fringe benefit of this uh, <laughs> functionality. The HMI project can also be configured so that the local operator can enable and disable the control. And this is very important because one of the, the pieces of feedback, again, that we got from OEMs when we first started rolling this out in beta about a couple of years ago was that they wanted to be able to disable it. You know, let's say somebody's taken over control of the touch panel. Sure. You know, even the maintenance guy, he's out of the office, he's taking over control of it. And the operator's standing there, but he needs to do a particular thing with that machine. And he doesn't have the maintenance guy on the phone. Maintenance right. guy has control of the touch panel. Oh, no, what do we do? Well, it can be configured so that that person can then take back, take control. back control of it. So that's a very important thing to note. Again, we want to we make it as safe and secure as we possibly can for the end user. Because right. at the end of the day... They're the ones that we got to keep happy, okay? No matter whether we're integrators yeah. or OEMs. And safe. <laughs> and safe, exactly. Okay, let's go to roll to the next slide. Again, just to summarize the features, there are no additional hardware, pieces of hardware required to operate this. It is web browser-based, so virtually every PC that I know of connected to the Internet is going to have a web browser. Multi-level login security, we'll, we'll touch on that a little bit later. Multi-level access control. Mm -hmm. So again, we will put as many as many levels of uh, security and control access uh, into this feature as we possibly can. It's user configured tag support, and then also you can resize. We'll show this a little bit later. The con console window, uh, you can do screen captures, open multiple viewer consoles. We're actually gonna. I won't be able to demonstrate this because I'm not gonna connect to all the p the uh, touch panels in here via the PC, but you can connect to and then view multiple touch panels at the same time on a PC, right. which again is very powerful. Uh, and custom connection setup. So let's roll through and see what's next. Okay, the security, this is what I touched on a moment ago, um, is the fact that here we're showing the three user accounts. You can set up three separate accounts. You got, it's got firewall support. You can go in and then, and then set up different levels of control. You can allow the person to just monitor, to just view screens. Uh, you can, what is the other, actually monitor and, uh, and access and then have full control. So if you do full control, they, they're then operating the touch panel just as if they're touching it right there in front of the touch panel. Right. Okay, so next. Again, web browser based. We'll, we'll show that a little, bit er, a little bit later. We're gonna launch into uh, Internet Explorer and pull it up. Uh, go go on the next one. Okay, these these are just little screen captures showing what I'm actually going to demo in a few okay. minutes. Sure. So just roll on. Actually, go back, Shane. I'm, I apologize. No, no problem. Right here, you see the. Um, I'll try to explain this again when we actually go through it. But you can see the the black window up on the left is uh, 
where we're going to pull up the web server and we're actually going to view the uh, the web server screen HTML in the uh, touch panel, mm -hmm. and then we're going to choose which which way to connect to it. It's going to then attempt to run an executable, and you'll get the standard Windows uh, dialog box that says, "Do you want to trust these folks?" Well, right. you're just going to have to trust us and click <laughs> run, and uh, hope that everything works. Now I'm teasing, but uh, <laughs> that that is one step again, and that's that's a good good thing with uh, PC security it's it's catching the executable do you want to run this so you click run and then you see the the bottom right there the actual touch screen itself so you know that's this, literally what's running on there you know this has got to be nerve-wracking the first time that a uh, engineer or somebody tries it out hopefully it'll yeah. probably in the plant already yeah. going outside <laughs> and coming back in but yeah still that's got to be nerve-wracking uh, yeah. the first time to really try <laughs> oh yeah yeah first time I did I was a little nervous do I click on this or not yeah Okay, shut down the whole plant. Exactly. <laughs> okay, run, run the, go to the next slide. Resizable window. You can see there, it's just got a standard uh, window sizing function there. You click on it, and you can just grab the size and and uh, and and just choose which size screen you want. And w one of the things, by the way, when we first showed the initial beta users this, they this really blew them away because. A lot of competitor products out there, it's just one size. You can't right. size a thing on the window. Uh, and this is really cool because you can shrink it and then put four touch panels on your, you know, sure. just size it whatever size you want. It's, uh, it's a very useful feature. Okay, you can save screen images. Sometimes that's all you want to do. You want to, hey, grab the screen so mm -hmm. I can see what, what were those temperatures or, you know, what, what was the, the speed of that particular uh, process that was going on at that time or whatever data that you want to capture. Open yeah, multiple viewers, as I mentioned before. Now, this is showing actual four four different touch screens at a time, just a just a screen capture on a PC, and you can see those operating and running in their wi various windows. Custom com setup. Won't talk much about that, but you can go in. You can tweak, you know, based on on the data and what you're displaying. You might be displaying, you know, 200 analog values or right. something, or a bunch of bitmaps, and and you might play around with the speed. Uh, timeouts and so forth, um, and configure that to optimize your viewing. Right. And and you're scrolling through different screens on the touch panel. Yeah, sometimes you don't really care how fast the updates are as long as I'm getting accurate updates. Right, exactly. Some people want some really fast information streaming. Yeah, yeah, right. So you can customize that. Okay, requirements. I'll tell you what, let's, um, let's uh, pause here, and I'm just going to dive in and show you we're just going to run the, the touch panel to see more software. Okay, so here you see my mouse moving. No screen, no uh, smoke and mirrors here. <laughs> it's, it's the real <laughs> real deal. Okay, so what, what we're going to do here, we've got, we've got nothing open. We're just going to click Start Project. And we're going to view the touch panels here that we can see. We're, there's our auditorium. You can see different guys have but there's out there. This is a video steward. This is the 12-inch panel that's right in front of me here. Yeah, you can see the picture in picture. Okay, there. Okay, he's got it up there. Now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna right-click there, and you notice, hopefully the resolution's uh, good enough here on the on the video. But you see web server and FTP server. We're gonna connect via web server. And here's the very screen that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. So, it automatically pulled up Windows Explorer, opened a window there. And you can see file list, screen list, and instructions for creating your own website. Now, all that stuff's built in to help uh, users work through this on their own. They might want to customize. I know a couple of OEMs have done that. Many right. of them have done it, but two that I personally know that have uh, utilized this. They build their own uh, on web pages for, uh, for their touch panel, for their customers. And then I'm just going to click here on remote access. And here are the two options that I mentioned earlier. You've got no firewall or router connection, and then you have with firewall router. Since we're we have none, we're just behind our our firewall. Uh, it's just a direct connection. I'm going to click here. And and here's a, do you want to run it? There's you want to run it. Do you trust them? I'm going to click run. Oh yeah, and there, yeah. There's a second executable. Same thing. Just click that. And we're going to use test three. This is the third level, which has the the full control. Click that. 
and automatically there's the the uh, touch panel window. So my my uh, you see my the pointer here is literally just like working like my finger would here in front of the right the touch panel. So I click on that, you see it operate. Okay, let's see if I can reach up. I'm gonna do something off the cuff here. You see see my uh, finger here. So I'm pressing that one. Now I'm gonna press it through the software and deactivate it. Pretty nifty. So, so you're I'm really lazy. This, I'm really lazy. I just reach for the pointer rather than stand up and press it. This is all over the internet. This is uh, this is no you know connecting to software and software can control. And this is through the internet. Right. Exactly. That's a good point that Shane's making. Is that um, we're literally running this through. I mean, we've connected through the browser, and and it's running executable on a PC. No additional software is required. So. Your end user is not having to to um, or you're you're not having to download anything, right? And uh, ne you know neither is the uh, is the end user. You're accessing that touch panel uh, over the internet with no additional software. So here you can see see it operating remotely. Okay, pretty quick too. Mm -hmm. Again, depending on how this is set up. Here's the. We can size different, so the fit was pretty close there. We can go to really small, go big, and we can just choose fit, which is, in this case, a pretty good choice. So there you go. There you have it. We're connected remotely to this touch panel. And, and by the way, you can see right there the, uh, the account number three is active there. So we right. have the test three, which is the full, the full control. Alrighty. Make some coffee, somebody said. <laughs> hey. Okay, I didn't know what was going to come up. Mark's coffee tank. I hope it's decaf. It's <laughs> after 2 o'clock, so I need decaf. <laughs> All right, so there we go. We're tracking the... It's looking good. The coffee's getting complete here. Okay, <laughs> we can pause operation, by the way, of the... Uh, remote access, we can stop it completely and restart it. If you restart, it's going to push you back out to the level where you're having to uh, enter your password because right. it's it's firing it back up again. So there you have it. Let's just get, head back to the uh, touch panel software, the Seymour software. So that's it. Even just from a blank screen, you can get at the touch panel. You don't have to load anything down to, mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, no project has to be created or anything. It's just run right off the panel. Very powerful. Okay. Now let's, let's head back to the regularly scheduled <laughs> presentation. Right. We're well, yeah, I'll just mention here uh, on the requirements, Obviously, the use the remote access feature, as, as Shane alluded to earlier, this was a feature that was added later. So you may have an older touch panel mm -hmm. that didn't have this feature in terms of its uh, firmware support but or software, for that matter. But just go to the website. You know, upgrade them for free. And, and upgrade for free. A absolutely. You go to the software downloads, and you can download the updated uh, version of the Seymour. Yeah, unlike uh, a lot of manufacturers, our, ours are always, the, the firmware is always free upgrades. Absolutely, it's most always free. Most of our software, as long as you're in the same versions, are always free too. Now, when we yeah. release something new, actually, DirectSoft usually the only one that we really, when we come out with a whole new version, you have to pay for an upgrade. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, we always have maintenance releases are always free. Absolutely. Yeah, you go to the tech. Yeah. To the tech side of the. So website. even this refers to the firmware version being 2.4. What I was going to mention is the just go get the most recent version of the software is normally the safest, safest bet. Download that and then upgrade your firmware. Whatever we have on the website is going to be well version. up to date. Yeah, and it's, it's going to cover this 2.4 and beyond. Do you know what the latest is? Uh, I believe 2.52 is the latest of the software. But um, Yeah, actually, you can go to... Um, if, can you all guys go to his screen capture there? And if you go back to the software, it'll actually tell you, won't it? If you go to the help. This one, this one here is 2.52. Mm -hmm. So if you're not, you're not sure but what ver what version you have, yeah, just go to you help. You can always go to, to the help and about see more, and you'll see that version. But just go la download the latest version of the software, mm -hmm. and then connect to your panel and upgrade the firmware in your panel, 
and you're going to be good to go in terms of using the uh, remote access feature. Okay. So next slide. And safety note, we this is, one, again, one of the concerns that we really had was making sure that the customer and the, the uh, user of the software is, is well aware of the, the safety precautions right. required for this because obviously you want to be very careful how you uh, how you access and, and control remotely a touch panel. So just uh, be safe out there. Uh, well, information resources? Yeah, I think we're basically at the end there. Um, I know that sort of did roll through a little quicker than uh, we made it seem a little easy. <laughs> It's a really cool feature, a uh, yep. really powerful feature. Um, Tim did a good job at just showing how easy you know it was to go in. I know uh, Tom and I actually we sat down with one of the engineers and he gave us a three ring binder. Mm -hmm. and we sat there for I don't know, Tom maybe two hours with him and uh, he showed us. But you know of course he went in every in and out of right. the software, the features, what you can and can't it, do. It, exactly, and you can go a lot deeper, a lot deeper than we went today. Sure. Sure. But I just want to give you guys a sense so that you feel confident you can go out and give it a try. Yeah, and this if you is take yeah, you just go get your Seymour, connect to it, and and hopefully it'll gen generate some ideas of how you might use a touch panel beyond what you're doing today. I well, know the biggest thing, like you said, I mean, it keeps. Uh, it, we're more and more trying to cut down on travel. You know, first mm -hmm. come web seminars, so people quit traveling to trade shows or to training and stuff like that. They can get online training, and then. You know, yeah, in the industrial world, we've we've tried to keep our technicians at home where they can do more work, you know, for less money. Right. And now the technicians are able to actually visit the plant floor without ever mm -hmm. visiting, you know, without being physically there. So you can do that with a lot of PLCs as well. Yep. But with the Seymour, I mean, that's an awesome feature. Yeah, to actually be able to operate the touch panel. Yeah. You know, Remotely. a customer might be, uh, yeah. my machine's not doing this. Yeah, well, let me show you. Yeah, <laughs> let me walk you through this. Yeah, I won't even charge you. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It is, it is a very powerful feature, but, but you're right. We could have gone a whole lot deeper. Yeah. I just want to skim the surface just to give you an idea of how easy it is sure. because I was very rusty on this. I mean, right before I went online, I was just making <laughs> sure am I clicking on the right thing, but it, it, it's very straightforward. You know, you've you got a simple right-click there to access the web server. Then you're connected through HTML there, you click on it, you're running the remote access, right. it's running the executable, and you're, you're off and running, just the way we showed it. So, yeah, I wanted to, to just show how seamless it is, really. Mm -hmm. you know, you're not having to download something, wait, and install it. Yeah, it's yeah. just happening right there. So Do it with, yeah, whatever's on your computer there. Okay, cool. Um, we're going to go ahead and stop. And, you know, like Tim said, you know, he sort of went through this pretty quick. I think Tom and I are going to work on some uh, learned videos, and we're actually going to try to dive in. We probably have to get some help from some of the other guys, maybe Tim and Richard. But mm -hmm. uh, we'll try to try to break it down and do more in-depth of, okay, here's how you can do this, here's how you can do that. But you did a really great job of just showing, you know, you know the features of it and just give everybody a little taste of it so they want yeah. more and go out and get it. And if you don't have a Seymour touch panel that has the Ethernet, you know, grab one with the Ethernet. But like I said, there's only a couple. There's just a just small handful mm -hmm. that don't have the Ethernet. So if you if you do have Ethernet capabilities, which, like I said, are built in on all the higher end ones, you have the abilities to do this, to do this yep. as long as you go out and get the latest firmware and software, right. which is free. Okay. All right, so we'll uh, stop there. Information resources, um, as you can see there, of course, I can't email you these because we're not live. We're doing this in a recorded format, but you can always pause this video and jot those down. But you see there's a Seymour comparison chart. We do have the Seymour website if you've never been there. Uh, the demo software, you can actually, it's fully functional. It'll allow you to go in and program everything there. And then we have our video tutorials. If you're not familiar with them, they're at our Learn site at learn.automationdirect.com. And we're trying to put more and more up right now. I think uh, Tom and I have been focusing on the uh, Click PLC mm -hmm. and trying to get as much out with that. Now we're going to start... Uh, to bring up some of the Productivity 3000, our newest PLC we just uh, released a couple weeks ago. All right, and then we have uh, application notes. A lot of customers will uh, ask for stuff, and tech will do a good job. If they get repetitive phone calls, they'll actually write some app notes. So you can mm -hmm. always check out the app notes and on the forum as well. A lot of times, you know, if tech's getting a lot of phone calls about the Seymour, you know, remote feature, they'll actually sit down and write some white papers and yep. how-tos. Okay, and we're going to go to the last one, but um, again, I want to thank you for coming in and doing such a great job again, Tim. You, you always do a great Thanks. job with that. Uh, of course, since we're uh, recorded, we won't have a poll. We won't do Q&A. Now, let me make a, 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 a 
suggestion here, if you have, since we're not doing Q&A, um, if you have any questions or if you have any feedback for us, feel, feel free to uh, email me, and that's at live at live at automationdirect.com, and that comes to me. Um, but we'll be glad to answer any questions you have. Also, feel free to call our tech support. But uh, Let me go ahead, and we'll close out. Now that our engineers got the music, uh, thanks again for watching today's edition of Automation Talk. Please make sure you visit our website at automationdirect.com. Feel free to browse the site, shop for our industry-leading catalog. It keeps growing every day. We're going to have, what, 2,000-plus part numbers this year that we've released, so take a look wow. there. <laughs> catalog is going to be 30 pounds. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, make sure you check out the Automation Talk website for uh, seminars. Uh, Tom and I sat down today and hashed them out. We've got them lined up for the rest of the year, but we only post four at a time. So I'd like to see everybody we can come line up and uh, watch our Automation Talk seminars live. Questions and comments, like I said, can be sent to me at live at live at automationdirect.com until we have a chance to speak to you again. Thanks and have a great day.